Today we're making a pizza that's absolutely sublime. We're going to start with pan roasting three kinds of mushrooms, shiitake, oyster and brown beech, until they are deeply flavorful. Then we pair the mushrooms with a garlic confit spread, which is out of this world, and homemade ricotta. Have I sparked your interest and your appetite? I hope so. But first, you'll need to make your pizza dough. And I made a video that takes you through all the steps and gives you great tips for making the perfect thin crust pizza. To prep the shiitake mushrooms, cut the stems off and then cut the caps in quarters. Oyster mushrooms come in these small clumps, so you'll want to cut the base of the clump off and then tear the mushrooms in one inch pieces. And you can leave the small mushrooms whole. Brown beech mushrooms also come in clumps. So cut the bottom off and then separate the mushrooms but leave them whole. The stems of the mushrooms are too fibrous to eat but they are very flavorful. So don't throw them away. Freeze them and use them next time you make stock. Put the shiitake mushrooms in one bowl and in a separate bowl place the oyster and brown beech mushrooms. To cook the mushrooms, I recommend you use a non-stick pan. A titanium surface is best. Otherwise, the mushrooms will stick to the bottom of your pan and you won't be able to cook them properly. So heat your skillet over high heat and add the butter. Once the butter is melted, add the olive oil and the shiitake mushrooms. And now toss the mushrooms until they are well coated with the butter and oil. Now we are starting with the shiitake because they take a little bit longer to cook. Now spread the mushrooms in one layer. Saute the mushrooms for a couple of minutes until they've wilted and begin to turn golden. You see what's happening? The mushrooms have wilted and they are starting to turn golden. So now add the balance of the mushrooms. Toss again until all the mushrooms are well coated with the butter and oil. Continue to saute at high heat until the mushrooms are golden brown. This will take about six to eight minutes. When you cook mushrooms, you've got to remember not to toss them too frequently. Otherwise they become mushy. Look at our mushrooms. They've got a fantastic golden brown color and they smell amazingly good. So now we're ready to season them. First sprinkle with the salt and then with freshly ground pepper. Toss again and transfer to a bowl. Last thing, we need to prepare the winter savory. Remove the leaves from the stem. This winter savory comes from my garden and I absolutely adore cooking with it. But if you have a hard time finding some, you can use rosemary instead. Now hold the leaves as tightly as you can and finely slice. And now coarsely chop. Once you've shaped your pizza and placed it on your peel, you can spoon half the garlic confit on the dough and then spread it over the whole surface. Oh my goodness, I wish you could smell this. Now top with half the mushrooms. By the way, when it comes to making thin crust pizza, less is more. So make sure not to load your pies with too many toppings. Then sprinkle with the ricotta, the winter savory, the salt, and freshly ground black pepper. Now here comes the tricky part. Place the peel all the way to the back of the stone. Give it a quick jerky movement so it slides off the peel. And then shake the peel to slide the pizza off. Let's take a peek. Ooh, our pizza is ready. And to take it out of the oven, all you have to do is to slide the peel right under it. As a last touch, 
sprinkle the pizza with the Parmesan shavings and drizzle with the garlic confit oil. Bon appétit!